As if Steel 6 has been released, it includes great new features and one brand new module. But what exactly is included in this new version of ASDIP Steel 6? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to review the new features included in this new version of ASDIP Steel 6. Let's get started. When you open ASDIP Steel 6, you see the project manager. Here you can see the modules included in the package. Base plates and anchorage, steel column, steel and composite beams, shear connections, moment connections, and web openings. I have prepared an example of each module to show the new features. Let's open the example calculation for base plate. The previous version included only rectangular base plates, could be biaxial. Now in this version 6 we are including circular base plates. We can select the column from the steel database or you can specify your own column as a user defined section. In the geometry tab, you specify the dimensions, the column diameter, the base plate diameter, support diameter, and the edge distance of the rods. In the materials tab, you specify the material properties for the support, for the base plate, and for the anchor rods. In addition, you can specify if the seismic provisions are applicable to this design. If we go to the loads tab, here you can select either a single set of pre-combined loads or a set of nominal loads and as if we will combine them. The design can be per ASD or per LRFD. Here I have applied some dead loads and also wind loads. So if we select here the controlling combination, the controlling combination will include dead, live and wind. As you can see, the software calculates the tension in the rods and also calculates the maximum bearing pressure under the plate. In this case, the maximum tension per rod is 3.4 kips and the maximum bearing pressure is 0.4 KSI. If we go to the anchorage tab, the tension analysis, here you specify the anchorage provided for tension. The shear can be resisted by friction only, shear log and friction, or anchor rods only. And here also you can specify some anchor reinforcement. If we go to the at a glance tab, here we can see a summary of the results just in one screen. Here we can see immediately that everything is passing in this design. The plate thickness provided is more than the required, so it's acceptable. If we go to the Condense tab, we can see a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, group by topic. And if we go to the Detail tab, it's a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with exposed formulas, references to the code, base plate design, here the anchorage design. Graphically, you can see the base plate design. If we go to the Tension Breakout tab, here we can see the Tension Breakout area calculation. If we go to the shear breakout tab, here is the shear breakout area calculation. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open the example calculation for a steel column. In the geometry tab, you specify the dimensions of the column. In this case, it's 30 feet. The column is W10 by 54, can be selected from the steel database. If we click on the stability. The column can be sway or non-sway. In this case, it's a non-sway column and the loads are coming from a second order elastic analysis. If we click on the loads tab, here I have specified some dead loads just to show how the program works. In a gland, you can see a summary of the results. Everything is passing in this design. The combined stress ratio is 0.65, so it's acceptable. If we go to the condensed tab, all the column strength per load combination. Here's the compression analysis then local buckling, bending about X and bending about Y. Finally, the combined stresses. We go to the detail tab. We can see a more detailed set of calculations. These are the factored loads. Then the design for compression with all the exposed formulas, references to the AISC code, the design for flexure, and finally the design for combined forces. Graphically, the program shows the interaction diagram, axial versus moment, and also the biaxial bending diagram, moment in Y versus moment in X. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a steel and composite beam. Here in the geometry tab, you specify the beam size from the database. In this example, we have three supports, so two spans, 25 feet and 20 feet. Graphically, you can see the beam. Here we are specifying a five inches slab. It's a composite beam. Here we are specifying some loads just to illustrate how the program works. If we go to the detail tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations, step by step. 
exposed formulas designed for flexure, references to the AISC. Graphically, the beam elevations and the shear and moment diagram per load combination. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open the example calculation for a shear connection. This module has a new feature. The support can be HSS column or HSS beam. In this case, for example, let's select an HSS column and the column is an HSS 10 by 10 by half an inch. Then the beam in this case is W12 by 26. If we go to the materials tab, here you specify the material properties for the support, for the beam, for the plate, for the bolts, etc. Go to the loads tab. I have entered some information here just to show how the program works. Graphically, we can see the connection here. Please note that we are specifying a single plate connection. We could specify single angle, double angle, or a T. For HSS columns, it's common to use a single plate. So this is the, the column, HSS 10 by 10, then connecting to the W beam, W12 by 26. We are using a single plate uh, shear connection. In elevation looks like that. Please note that the connecting plate is eccentric with respect to the center line of the beam. We go to our glance tab. Here we can see the connection strength for the different limit states and also the combined uh, loads. So everything is passing for this uh, connection. At the bottom, we can see design checks according to the code. Go to the detail tab. The connection strength showing the limit states applicable to this connection with the references to the AISC code. Here are the design checks and finally the geometric constraints. Let's go back to the project manager. Now let's open the example calculation for a moment connection. This module includes now HSS columns. The previous version included only W columns. The connection can be flange plated, can be welded flange, or can be end plate. In this case, we're going to design a flange plated uh, connection with an HSS column. Here you specify the beam size and the type of shear connection. In this case, it's a shear plate. We click on the load tab. I have specified some loads just to illustrate this module. We go to the at a glance tab. You can see here that everything is passing in this design. This is the moment connection strength, the shear connection strength, the combined loads, and the design checks. We go to the detail tab. It says the shear connection strength, showing all the limit states, references to the AISC, the moment connection strength with all the limit states, step by step, the design checks per code, and finally the geometric constraints check. We can see here graphically the design in front view, side view, and top view of this connection. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open the calculation for the new module on web openings. The beam can be non-composite or can be composite. We can click on graph to see graphically the section. Here in the beam, you specify the beam section uh, from the uh, steel database. We click on the opening, and the dimensions of the opening, the eccentricity versus the center line of the beam, and then finally the reinforcement uh, if necessary. If it's a composite, then a, an, an additional tab is added here for slab. Here you specify the dimensions of the slab and the deck, the deck orientation, and the studs. If we click on the glance tab, we can see a summary of the results with everything is passing in the design checks. The bending shear interaction is uh, 0.73. We go to the detail tab, geometric calculations, bending capacity calculation with the references to the AISC code, shear capacity calculations, moment shear interaction, and here the design checks, finally the reinforcement design. Finally, we go to the graph tab, we can see a detailed image of the beam elevation showing the opening, the eccentricity, and the reinforcement. As you can see, this new version of ASIP Steel 6 is very useful. Now it includes HSS columns in connections, shear connections and moment connections. It also includes circular base plates and anchorage, and includes a new module for web openings. We are confident that you will find this new version very useful in your practice. If you like the software, please visit the website www.asdipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial.
please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.